Hi, I'm Kelly Brown and welcome to my YouTube channel. I wanted to share with you in this video how I add color to white in Photoshop to create some pretty cool results. So the first thing we want to do is select the area that we're going to change color first. In this particular image, we are going to select the waves to start with. So just the very basic quick selection tool. And then what we're going to do is select our color. So we're going to come down to our adjustment layers. We're going to create a solid color. And we already have a blue color picked, but it's not giving us a lot here in terms of density. So we can't quite see the separation between the two waves or any highlights and shadows. So what I want to do is be a little bit more selective first about the color blue. If we move to the left over here, we're going to create a more desaturated tone. If we go up, it'll be brighter. If we come down, it'll be darker. So I'm guessing somewhere around the middle here. I think that's a nice sort of soft blue. All right, we're gonna click OK. The next thing we're going to do is add some density. So we're gonna bring out those highlights and shadows, um, which is where we need to change the layer mode. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna select multiply. You can come down and look at the different options. I mean, color burn is actually pretty cute. Um, but we'll come back to that. I basically wanna show you how to apply this to all of it in terms of the entire selection, including those highlights and shadows. All right, the next thing we wanna do is add a little bit more depth to it. So enhance those shadows and just kind of lift those highlights a little bit. So I'm going to create another adjustment layer this time it's going to be a curves adjustment layer. I'm going to click on the hand tool and come over and select those shadows. So just down here in between the two waves where you can see it's a little darker, here and here. We're gonna click down there and I'm going to darken those. You can see that really coming down. And then the next thing I'm going to do is increase some of those highlights. And now that's really bringing out the contrast. You can see how it's really saturating the overall color that we have, we have chosen here as well. And it's also affected the entire image. Now I can use my selection tools over here in terms of the first la layer that we created, the color layer, or I could just put both of those layers into a group. So I'm gonna hold the shift key down and select the color layer, create a group, and then I'm gonna open that back up so we can see it. I'm gonna come back down here to that color layer mask, and I'm just gonna drag that up to the group. And now that's gonna apply that mask, that selection to both of those layers. And this is where we can be a little bit more, um, I suppose, in control in terms of the opacity that we have both of those layers at. And we can also mask on and mask off any of those areas um, as well. Okay, so the next thing I want to do here is bring back some of that underlying layer, that color layer. So this is where I can bring up the information here. But if I hold the Alt Option key, I can separate that. So I can adjust the shadows and I can also adjust the highlights there to reveal some of that underlying layer. Okay, so we can go before and after. And that just brings back a little bit of that saturation as well. We can also um, adjust again the opacities of that to taste. And at any point in time, we can also come back, double click on the color, and we can be a little bit more selective in terms of the color that we've chosen. We don't wanna make it too dark. There we go. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is change the color of the boat. So this is where we can start to have a little bit of fun. Um, again, 
when we are selecting the different areas that we are changing color, you can come in and be a little bit more precise. You can refine your selection as much as you like, but for the sake of this tutorial and to show you just how we are changing color, I'm going to select the areas pretty quickly. So I'm going to use the We'll come back in a second and select that, but just because we've got some straight lines here, this selection tool is going to work really well for us. And again, you can come back once you've applied your masks and be a little bit more precise. All right, and then I'm just going to come down and include the rest of the boat here. I'm not going to worry too much about his little face or body at the moment because we can mask that off. So to change the color of our boat, we've first obviously got to make that selection, but then next we have to decide what color we're going to change it to. And I think we might go red. We might go with one of these sort of mid-range tones, keep it quite saturated. So again, we're going to change the layer mode of that solid color layer to multiply. <laughs> and again, this is when you can be a little bit more selective. You can darken it down if you want to. You can make it a little bit more desaturated and choose that color exactly the way you want it to be. We're going to copy the last step as we did with the waves and add a curves adjustment layer here above our solid color layer and we're going to again increase those shadows so clicking on our hand tool come down to the shadow area pull that down add a little bit of contrast and then lift those highlights we can continue to tweak that curve there as much as we like But what I love about this is that it adds that density that we need to make it look more realistic. But at the same time, we get to keep all of this amazing texture in here. All right, so we do need to take that off his little face. Um, but what we want to do first is apply the mask to that curves layer. So again, copying the group step from the previous color change, the, the water color change to blue. We're going to select using the shift key, holding that down to select the color layer, add a group, open that up and drag the mask up to that group. All right, so now what we can do here is use our selection tools if we want to, um, or we can come in with a paintbrush and mask it off. Little Hugo. making sure my brush is at 100%. I'm just gonna quickly paint around, increase the hardness of my brush so I get a nice hard edge. Alright, so now that we have our red boat and our blue water, the last thing we want to add is just a little bit of a blue sky in the background. So I'm going to come back down here to my background layer. I'm going to create just a blank layer above that. We're going to select our gradient tool and we still have the blue tone selected as well. And we've got our opacity at about 50%. And this is where I'm just going to draw from the bottom of the water to the top and create that gradient. 
Uh, this is now where I need to select the boat and the mask from up here. So I'm going to click back on this mask, right click and add mask to selection. And now I can come back down to this layer, add a layer mask, and you can see how it's now applied it to the selection. So if we just hit command I, we're going to invert that layer mask, taking it off the areas that we don't want. We can also select these, this mask up here, right click, add mask to selection. We can come back down here and we can also use our paintbrush on black at 100% to take that layer off there as well. Command D to deselect and then we can come in here and just take it off his little face. So again you can be quite precise with your selection there or use your your brush tool as I'm doing. It's entirely up to you. Just taking that blue tone off the ears. You can see how it's kind of bleeding into the background there, but as long as we get it off him, then we can come back and paint that back in where we need to with that mask. So with a much smaller brush. Hit your X key, it will take you back to a white brush so you can paint that back in. All right, so to quickly show you how we've done that, it didn't take long at all. I am going to change the layer mode of this. Even though we don't have a lot of information in the background there, I'm still going to change that layer mode. And as you can see, as you go down through the different options here, it will give you many, many, many different results. But we just want to multiply to darken down any of those shadows that are there. And then what we want to do is reduce the opacity to where we want it. And then if you decide that you want to change the opacity of all of them, you can just come in and make those changes with those layers and masks. So this was to show you what's possible when adjusting white in Photoshop to add color and retain some of the density and the texture throughout the image. Uh, it's not exactly what I had in mind when I first decided to add a little color to this. So I'm going to show you something that's a little bit more my style. So playing with those highlights and shadows that we've got here, I did want to keep it nice and white. It looks really crisp and clean, but I just wanted that little touch of color throughout the shadows there. So using the color layers that we've got, I just turned the red boat off. It was super cute, but it wasn't really something I would do. So it's important that I stick with my style and what I know the parents are going to be really happy with. All right, so as you can see, you can create some pretty dramatic results, or you can make it nice and subtle, which is what I prefer. If you enjoyed that, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you wanna stay up to date with what's coming in terms of tips, tricks, and tutorials, make sure you hit that little bell. I hope this helped in some way, and I look forward to sharing more with you soon.